I have been soaking my basket upside down in the water so that the top parts here, especially under this last row of weavers, is good and wet. Um, if it's a large basket or it has a handle, you can just, you know, really spray them really well. You want to go between every spoke. You, know, you can spritz them all that way too. Um, we're going to take this into two steps. This one is going to be how to put the rim and the seagrass on. And then the next tutorial will be on how to lash um, your basket because that takes quite a while to do that. So you have in your water, which has been soaking for a while, two pieces of half inch flat oval. Now, if you can see, I'm not sure what the best place to show you is. It is, a, it is an oval on one side and flat on the other. So obviously the flat side has to go against the basket. And what you're gonna do is, since it's a round basket, it really doesn't matter where you start. If it's a rectangular basket, you can start on the longer side uh, so you have more room for overlap. If it has handles, you want to avoid doing, um, at the end you have to overlap, so you want to avoid doing an overlap at the handle so it's not so bulky. Uh, so there's different ways where to put it on. But what you want to do, like I said, this is about an eighth of an inch bigger than this last row. This is half inch. So when you place it on here, you're going to put the bottom edge of your half inch flat oval on the bottom edge of the three eighths. And I try to do it just to the right of a spoke. Now, don't put it on just for the bulkiness, but you'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute here. But I kind of put it on here, and I've got a whole bunch of, of clothespins. And I'm just going to work my way around. You don't have to, this one doesn't need a lot of clothespins. I'll probably get away with maybe four or five of them on this one. And I'm just going to clothespin it on with the clothespins until I get back to where I started. Now, when you do the outside piece, the two extra inches is just what you need. So when you go to end it, don't end it like this, because if you do, what happens is you can, it doesn't matter, but it's very blunt. You can actually see that it ends right there, like whoop, here it is. So what I have people do is I take my scissors, and again, use the fulcrum because this is very thick. I cut an angle. You can also cut a point if you want to, just an angle, and then, and you're gonna overlap about an inch and a half if that's what you have left over. Okay, so you just want the tip of that one off and then clothespin that tight. It gets tight. I will tell you Dollar Tree clothespins are not happy with rims on both sides like this, but that's okay, you'll manage. The second piece is a little trickier because it's the inside piece. And again, it's been soaking for a while. So it automatically bends with the oval side up. You want the flat side to go on the inside of your basket. So what you wanna do is kind of flatten it out, kind of like we did the reeds in the beginning to get them laying down to make your base. You wanna to go to the opposite side. So here's where I finished my, my outside piece. So I wanna to go to the opposite side of the inside. So you gotta kinda of curve it so it fits inside there. The opposite side is here. And again, you gotta kinda of go you know, on the spokes. And you can use the same clips that you had before. You'll have a tiny gap right here. That's where the seagrass will go. And you have to work your way. You have to kind of fight it a little bit. Press it against it. Try to keep that bottom row level with the bottom row of that last row of weavers. Oops. And if that happens, just clip it back together. I keep, I'm, you're supposed to watch for that and you know catch it and make sure you don't have it flopping all over, but that will happen. And here's where it gets a little thick because it's now three layers. Four, actually, if you count that last row of weavers. And don't worry if it's exactly where it needs to be. You just keep going around that flat part against it. And then when you get to the back, you're gonna have a lot more overlap than you did on the other side because the inside, of course, diameter is smaller. So give it about an inch and a half. You don't really need much more than that. And again, cut it at an angle so it finishes nicely inside the basket. And then close pin it. Jeez, oh, sorry. That close pin broke. And close pin it there. Again, it's tight because it's several layers. So it looks kind of a mess right now, but when you lash, it'll all come back in place. Then you take your seagrass, and with your seagrass, um, it's if you think about where you're going to end your lashing, that's the best place to um, put the seagrass to start. So typically, I like to lash about where I started. Yeah. Uh, close to that. So I try to go around the area where I was when I finished, so on the inside. So I'm going to be right in here. 
and it's not going to lay in there perfectly like it, you know, like it's going to be done because the lashing will bring the rim up. But what you do is just simply lay it between the two pieces of, of rim. If it falls off, if it comes off, don't get upset. And I remembered the thing here, so I caught it a little bit. Um, this is much longer than you need. It gives you a little bit of overlap. That way, if you, um, you know, find that you need a little more, you have it. And I don't recommend that you cut it off just yet. I wait until you're getting close to the end to see where you are. Eventually the pieces will butt together. So they will be like this inside. But right now they're overlapping. So it'll stay in here like that. So there's your rim pieces and your seagrass. And you are now ready to start lashing.